Lost chicken or I will. Excuse me. <clears throat> I could sit on the steps and recite poetry. Bits of grass still stuck between oh, the two. I think he needs to see the That's dentist soon. Yep. Good boy, Gordy.
Where is it, bud? That's a Robertson River right there. <laughs> Cremation of Sam McGee. There are strange things done on the midnight sun. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. That night on the marge of Lake La Barge, I cremated Sam McGee. Why he left his home in the south to roam around the pole that I'd only known. He was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. On a Christmas day, we were mushing our way over the glossy trail. Our eyes would close because the lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. The dogs were fed and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe. I'll cash in this trip, I guess. It seemed so low that I couldn't say no. Oh, she looked gashly pale. And he crouched on the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. Oh, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. With a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid cause of a promise given. But you promise true and it's up to you to cremate my last remains. My God, how I loathe this place. The trail was bad and I felt half mad that I swore I wouldn't give in. Not and sing to that hateful thing. I came to the marge of Lake La Barge and a derelict there lay. It was called the Alice May. I looked at it. And I thought a bit, and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I, with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Well, the flames just soared, and the furnace roared, and stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I made a hike, for I didn't like to hear it sizzle so. And the heavens scowled, and the huskies howled, and the winds began to blow. It was icy cold, but the hot sweat flowed down my cheeks, and I didn't know why. And I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peek inside. I guess he's cooked, and at time I looked, and the door I opened wide. There sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of me. He wore a smile you could see a mile, and he said, Please close that door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, this is the first time I've been warm. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see 
was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge that I cremated Sam McGee. Now to pour this all back in. Yeah, yeah. How many tons? How many tons is this going to go back and forth? 